Hello and welcome to Decor as of. So today let's take a look at the temporary gear LPCVC. So LPCVC stands for Low Profile Crusader Place Carrier, and Crusader is the name of their place carrier series. So a little bit of story on why I'm buying this. So me and my friends we have the same dress code to wear the same kind of configuration when we are going to SO games. And for outdoor it's multicam black uniform with multicam gears. And for indoor for CQB it's multicam black uniform with grey gears. So at the beginning I was just gonna use the spiritual system MK4 chest wig. But one of my friends insists to wear a dress for CQB games and I asked him the reason why. And because in one game someone shot his nipple. So because of that, nowadays he always wear a dress in CQB games. So also because of that, I kept imagining someone will hit my nipple also. So in the end, I was just going to pick a no profile fest within like 150 US budget. And at the beginning, I was thinking since the belt that I'm using, Audi can carry two waffle mag and two pistol mag. And with the magazine in my gun, which is three waffle mag and two pistol mag, which is, I think it's enough for CQB games in Hong Kong. Usually one game lasts about five to 10 minutes. So at the beginning, I was looking at a very simple, just a play carrier, which is the first spear's legs and the LPT ULV carrier. So the first spear range is only in Coyote, so it didn't match the dress code. And the LPT ULV mask rate is always out of stock. And if I want to add in something more, it can't really do that. So I gave up on those two. And then I was looking at the Feral Slickster, the Quiet LPS, and the Tamarisk Gear LP CPC. Now the quiet one has a BB in map pouch so I can carry 3 more mags in case I want to go with a 5 max loadout. And the Slickster and this one has a elastic come open with the map pouch built in, in it. So I can always carry 1 or 2 more mags on the come buns to make a 5 magazine loadout. And sometimes I need to carry a radio also and the quiet one does not have anything on here to attach a, my PTT and etc. And the radio side pouch doesn't really look like it will fit well in the LPS. So in the end, I gave up the quiet and I was debating between this one and the farewell. And between this one and the farewell, at the front, it's pretty much the same. The only difference which I decided on the temporary gear is because of the LPCBC has two zippers at the back. So I can attach different zipper backpack in case I need it. And the farewell back is pretty similar to this. It's just two big velcro area. And they do have a full laser cut molly back panel, but that will cost another 100 US, which will be over my budget. So because of the zipper here and the in case I need something more scenario in mind, I, in the end, I decided to get the temperance gear. Now, this is not my first experience with temperance gear. Some time ago, they gave me a bunch of stuff to test and do review on that. If you missed that, you can check that out. And then I have also conducted a torture test on their laser cut pattern and you can also check that out also. They are pretty awesome and pretty worth it for the price. And this one I purchased it by myself, so it's not sponsored by them. So let's go for the fest itself. So on the front panel, you get two buckles for your different ply card. You get one big velcro area to hold it in. And you get velcro area here for different patches. And this hole here for retaining your PDT. And you can add a velcro PDT con retentioner like in here. So you, get, you can retain the PDT at an angle. It feels a little bit weird, but it's something that you can get used to. So on each side of the camera bun, you get three pockets for your rifle magazine. And I have tried it to not fit a 152 video. And it also came with six bungee cords for further retention, but I don't really use them. So when I'm actually using it, I took them off, but this one's just installed it just to show a demonstration. And it takes standard medium size sappy plate. And inside the plate cable, you get some channels for airflow, so it keeps you nice and cool. At the back, as mentioned, you have two zippers for different backpacks. And you can adjust the come open size by velcroing this further or tighter to the center. As for the shoulder strap, you can adjust the length like this, and the shoulder pad can be taken out and switched out to another kind. Because the current one, you cannot really want a hydration tube or cables underneath the shoulder pads. So you might need those like tri fold shoulder pads to one stuff under it. And on top of the shoulder pads, you get some cuts for if you want to retain anything on here. And for the mansion in the front, you have one section here to attach sideway pouch maybe for your multi tools or a knife or whatever. And the overall material is made by Kodoa 500D laminated material, which I've conducted the torture test. You definitely want to check that out. It's really, really strong material. And for the back panel, right now I have attached the quiet 
body panel 1.0 and the cut is a little bit off for quite if it's a little bit further away I can look this down to secure the top part in place because sometimes when I have heavier stuff it might drag the whole panel down but for the 2.0 the quite has a Falco panel in here so you can stick it to the Falco panel at the back to have some sort of strength preventing the panel from ripping down but then again it's not really for quiet panels they do have their own panels releasing in the future and as for sequence length it's exactly the same one as the normal quiet panel so beside my belts if i want to go a little bit more i will only attach my radio and maybe a couple more mags on the camera front and for radio pouch beside the signature system side pouch i have also tried the feral wingman and i like the feral wingman a little bit more because of the radio can set down a little bit more so it doesn't really interfere with my arms movement as much and also for power card i've done the review on the spiritual power card versus the quiet power card with this press and APS, and i think it's more suitable for low profile fans to have a single layer power card instead of having the chest with the mp4 power card in here which is a little bit more bulkier so it is just personal preference that when i think of low profile i'll try to keep everything minimum so this is for a quick review on the Tamarisk Gear LPCBC. Stay safe and I'll see you guys next time.